happen and oh, exactly. that's, that's, what explain, that's what I was trying to explain that's why I was trying that's why I was trying to explain to Brad it's a morality it's a morality issue and I'm kind of pissed about it you know I don't I don't want to not be somebody's friend if they didn't do something but if it happened it needs to be confronted and addressed and and fixed you know if you did yeah. something because you was manipulated into it, I understand. I get that. It's it's cool. It can be fixed. You know what I'm saying? And, and it, even no, if you I didn't do it, it, even if you didn't do it, it still needs to be addressed and fixed and talked about so that we can move forward. Well, and I just have a feeling. Like a, I just have a feeling. I just have a feeling that someone else who's been having private conversations with Blue, may or may not have already incriminated what's going on here. It's like he has me. Right. The more and more this conversation goes on, I'm starting to, starting to feel like it's maybe him, something he's done. He probably forced my name or has to do it. Like I said, I don't know nothing about it until you say something. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't say anything. I mean, look at my Lucio cards. No, 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 no. Nobody's saying you did, Red Hood. Dude, uh, what we're dis what we're discussing has nothing to do with you. We use the name Red. We're referring. We're referring to when we use the name Red. We're referring to the uh, uh, original, the original Red. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm red number two because I have my name on the red hood. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If blue, if blue looks at the said profile, you'll see that. Yeah, red hood, you're probably red number two. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, even even his YouTube channel's red, big red something with the numbers on the out or what the funny, numbers so, are. But. Is it, okay, the thing is kind of funny. I'm red hood, and the boy blue name is blue. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Maybe I'm, I'm red. Yeah. I'm the son of red, <clears throat> and the boy blue is blue. Just think about that, Sean. I'm gonna change so your name annoying. to the Purple Gamut. You're gonna be the Purple Gamut. We got Red Hood, the boy blue. Color, you Sean, you're gonna be you're gonna be the you're gonna be the Purple Gamut, and I'm gonna be like the Green Hornet or something. <laughs> no, I'm the Green Hornet. Nah, this See, is that way, the Red Ranger. That 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 way we all have a color. You see what I'm saying? We all have color scheme yeah. when we're on juggle drama. Like we all have a color assigned to us. I'm big green. You're Everybody's right. gonna call me big green, big red, big blue, and Sean will be big purple. <laughs> no, 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 no. I did. Boy blue to be the blue ranger. I'm the red ranger. <laughs> you be Tommy, Michael. No, the no, green no, 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 no. No, I ain't being no ranger. Fuck the faggot rangers, man. <laughs> Fuck the poopy rangers. <laughs> I didn't even watch that shit when I was a kid, let alone now. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I still love the I'm just saying the gimmick, the, gimmick, the, the, the gimmick is not the Power Rangers. The gimmick is just color coordination for the panel. And so then when I'm custom totally comes red. on, we got like, we got to come up with a color for everyone. And does Adrian, the, the chick Adrian, so come on, we call her Big Pink because she's a chick. You see what I'm saying? Right. Since she's a girl, we call her Big Pink. Big Pink. <laughs> Hold on. What we, what we call, um, let's see. See, everybody so needs you... a color. That's what we need to do here. Okay. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh no, we need someone to be. Today, uh, today has probably been the most fucked up day of my life. Yeah. Maybe Marty's right. Maybe I'm losing my goddamn mind because I can't get out of the house because of COVID. I don't fucking know. Dude, don't take Marty's advice, dude. Yeah, you know, I'm going to go to your house once in a while. 
Yeah, I mean, you can only stare at four walls for so long before you actually lose your fucking mind. Maybe he's right. I mean, if that's the case, I ain't, that is the case. It ain't got nothing to do with me fucking being in, in, insane or mentally ill. It just has to do with being in this motherfucking house 24 hours a day. Right. Well, it might be over. Lady. You can't do it. it. might be over to come and just like, slow it down over here where I'm at. Well, I mean, I understand that, but it's, it's been a thing for fucking almost two years now. You know, it started in 2019. It's it's fucking 2021 now. You know what I'm saying? I, I would assume everybody's been in their fucking house for too long because of certain reasons with COVID. They hope the COVID should be over. I miss doing stuff. Like go to the concert. Going to the Comic Con. Yeah, speaking, uh, of, do... speaking of concerts, they announced uh, Metallica is going to be at Louder Than Life this year. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, they, had, they had a they had oh, a nice. commercial they had a commercial on 1077 today when I was listening to the radio mm -hmm. and uh, they said you could you can uh, they haven't revealed the rest of the lineup for the festival but what they did tell us was Metallica's headlining the festival for two nights and if you spend twenty dollars based on the revealance of just Metallica headlining the festival you can lock in tickets uh, for the right. festival that's supposed to take place in September and then after a few months go by you can then start paying into the tickets you know louder than life tickets ain't exactly cheap so by yeah. dropping the well, $20 is a down payment on the tickets what it allows you to do is pay off the tickets over time you see what I'm saying? Like a you know, uh -huh. Next they year, had, don't be uh, They also had a contest. There's a contest with regular Laura, who's on that station, where she'll ask a question, and if you're the 10th caller or whatever, the 7th caller or what the fuck ever number she says, and you call in and you answer a question correctly about a musician or a recording artist or whatever, um, she might ask you, well, who's the singer for Def Leppard or whatever? And if you answer the question correctly, then you can win tickets to the to the Louder Than Life Festival as well. Um, you know, Jeff Jones is coming in uh, now next month. Who? Jeff Dunham, uh, comedian. Ah, uh, fuck him. <laughs> oh, you never get to coming down here to my city. You never get to coming down here to San Antonio. Uh, Motley Crue coming down here. Yeah, fuck them I'll too. <laughs> Motley Crue, you want Motley Crue? Motley Crue has some good uh, songs. Fucking girls, girls, girls mentality. Fuck them. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. They're, 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 shout to the, is that, I thought that was, no, I'm thinking, uh, run with the devil. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, nah, Motley Crue and, and fucking some of them hair metal bands is exactly what the fuck was wrong with the same thing that's going on with hip hop currently is what hair metal was in the eighties. It, it, it was all fucking sell out music. It was all girls. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Bitches, bitches, bitches. Hoes, hoes, hoes. Cars, cars, cars. Money, money, money. You know what I'm saying? The rock and roll went through its phase in the 80s with that. The same thing that hip hop is going through right now. Bitches, cars, hoes, and sluts, and drugs, and money. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, I'm a fucking hip hop artist, so I could, yeah, everybody and their mama is a hip hop artist and is making money at it. You know what I'm saying? That's what hair metal was in the eighties to rock and roll. That is a phase of rock and roll that I absolutely fucking despise. <laughs> All right, I'm back. The, 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 the fucking, the fucking warrants and the fucking, 
I don't know, just all the, the fucking hair metal bullshit, you know, you know, the fucking she's my yeah, cherry yeah, pies yeah, yeah. and the fucking just all that, all that shit is fucking cringy ass fucking music. Yeah, the fake hey, punk that. I the fake punk that I do is engage. I the only one. The only ones I really liked out uh, that went through the '80s process was ACDC. People comment that they're an '80s band. They'll comment how they're an '80s band, but they're not. Just like Aerosmith, people comment, "Oh, that Aerosmith yeah, an '80s okay, band." Okay, see, Aerosmith. But, but they're not. Neither one of those two bands are '80s bands because that's not when they started, and that's not when their music picked up momentum. They're both '70s bands. They started in the '70s. They were very popular in the '80s, and then they went on into the '90s and remained bands. Uh, I think the decade you get your career started in and become popular is the decade you're part of. Like people will argue that Eddie Money is an 80s kind of guy, but he's not because he started in the 70s. Um, well, just like people. Pink Floyd. He's like Pink Floyd's not a 70s band. They're a 60s band because of when they started in their initial popularity. What about Dio, Michael? Uh, I think Dio's eighties, eighties band. Well, see, no, no. See, the, why he asked that question? That's incorrect. Dio started. Dio was such an old dude. Very, he was very old when he started singing for Black Sabbath. He had already had his run in different bands like Elf, yeah, and, and different things dating back to the sixties. Uh, Dio was much older than Ozzy. Probably by about 15 years, maybe, I think. Yeah. Dio's dead now. He died in 2010. Yeah, he, he was he, he's definitely an old guy. And there's, you believe this if I told you, but there is fucking music that Dio sang back in the 60s that sounds like The Temptations, bro. Or it sounds like the Beatles, because when he started his career, and when he started doing music, that's exactly the kind of thing he wanted to do in the '60s. He wanted to be popular for doing those things, but in reality, Dio was kind of copying those things. He was copycatting those things, so he didn't become the Dio we know today till he found himself and became the Dio we know. You know what I mean? Uh, I saw I showed Sean I showed Sean on YouTube a while Sean. back a couple of a Dio songs that you're like you're listening to and you're going this is not Dio bro like what the hell um the Dio had a unique ability to change the sound of his voice when he was singing there are people you hear on the radio that every time they sing they sound exactly the same on every album that wasn't Dio. You hear one Dio song in the 60s, you might hear another one in the 70s, you'll hear another one in the 80s, and you may hear one in and across the four decades, you will never make the connection that that's possibly Dio on any four recordings. You just can't make the connection because it doesn't, doesn't sound like him. And it's just like me, I do the same thing. A lot of people can't make the connection on something that goes back to the mid 2000s today. And people comment, that doesn't sound like you. Or that, that doesn't, because that doesn't sound like you, that's not you. And my answer for comments like that is, you know, do you think the guy in Star Wars, the this Yoda, walks around? consistently going mm, you know what I'm saying do you think he talks like that in everyday conversation do you think the guy that voices Donald Duck or the guy that voices fucking um, um, Scooby Doo yeah you think the guy that voices Scooby Doo is walking around fucking mm, you know what I'm saying he, you know that's not how that works <laughs> And 
And if you actually watch Ozzy, for example, and this is how I can prove this, if you watch Ozzy's TV show and just the way that he talks, I mean, you need a fucking whole fucking uh, translator just to be able to fucking understand anything he fucking says. He's kind of in a coffee shop. It'll just be, and you're like, what? And then he'll pick up a phone and text it out. Oh, you want a coffee with cream? You good? All right, I got you, Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But if he if he sings on a record, I think that the gimmick or the, or the gag with that commercial was he kept telling them over and over again he wanted a coffee and it just sounded incoherent and like noise. And then I think in one commercial, he actually sang it to him. You know, he, he sang the words, I want a coffee with cr uh, a cream or whatever and sugar. And then there was another uh, another commercial there was a commercial he did where he actually texted it to the dude while he's at the coffee shop. You know what I'm saying? Sean, Sean's got a dude living with him now that's in the house that they live at. His name's Billy. And he reminds me, like, when he's talking and going off and carrying on, he reminds me of Ozzy. You know, ball. Oh. The fuck it sounds just like Ozzy when he used to say Cheryl or whatever the fuck that bitch's name is. Yeah. Fucking crazy. No, I, I really believe we lost Blue. What the hell are we going to do here? It's, on, it's after 930. Yeah, it's just me and you now, Michael. What is yeah. it? Michael Cash and now? <laughs> we need to do that. We need to make our own show. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, that would be cool. Fuck it, Sean. Click over to your YouTube channel. Go live on YouTube. To YouTube channel. We'll start doing shit like this. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 that easy. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. I actually I'm gonna come over there. I'm gonna show you the I've done a few of my own live streams on other channels just to kind of test it out. I actually did one with Steve yeah. on his channel. And it's very simple and easy to do what Blue's doing. Um it's very easy to live stream and do things and stuff, and I show you the whole process of being able to when when you click on it, add people to the show, edit the banners, you know what I'm saying? Put all the artwork in, all that yeah. stuff that you need to put in. It's, it's simple. It's really really that hard at all. Right. Blue was talking about earlier. I didn't have the the technology. I don't think. I don't think in the beginning that's what was preventing from being on the show. Uh, I think it was my uh, inintelligence at the time of how StreamYard worked. And uh, kind of the same thing you're going through um, yeah. as far as when you're trying to approve things and, and shit like that. Um, I think every time I tried to use StreamYard back then, I didn't hit the allow button for a lot of the things. Um, and then it just wasn't letting me do things. Um, but since then, I figured out, I did some YouTube research, and I figured out how that works and how the whole uh, system in general is operated. So now when I get on, it's just real easy and simple for me to get through the process to get on a panel. I don't think it was the fact that I was running any kind of old computer or phone or anything. It's just, I didn't know how to fucking do it at the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd probably be over uh, there. What, what, what's a, what, what time do you want to come over tomorrow? Uh, I'll just text you on Facebook when I get up. Like uh, today. Or yesterday. All right. Sounds good, it's man. Crazy. I'm gonna kill it. I don't. I don't know if I don't know if the the show or the panel. And I, I feel like maybe Blue took his medicine and just passed out on us and actually like, clicked himself out or something. Might have. 
I'm gonna have to get off here in a minute anyway. My tablet's not charging and it's like on twelve percent. Yeah. The only reason it's staying at twelve percent is I got the charge hook up not, not charging as I'm on it. Yeah, that happens that sometimes. Mean? You end up you end up staying where you're at or leveling off with your charge. You don't gain a charge, but you don't lose it because you're plugged in, if that makes sense. Hey, yeah. sorry about that. I was watching. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, that <clears throat> we thought maybe you passed out on us or took your medication or some shit. No, I'm actually still pretty wide awake. I'm about to make some freedom. Well, me and Sean, I think it works things out with this car. That's awesome. Meet up Glad tomorrow. Yeah. Here tomorrow. But they're calling it rain tomorrow. That'll probably be a good thing. It's been hot as hell today. Yeah. It's all cool I tomorrow. I hate when it's cold. <laughs> I hate when it's so hot outside that, like, when you go, like, your house will get heated up when you're inside, and you got to come out of the house because the heat's bearing down, but then it's hot outside, like, all day today, I've been struggling with that, like, it's, it's like, been 80-something degrees outside, but then every time I'm in the house, it's, like, 90, fucking 100 degrees in there. I don't know what the yes. fuck's going on with the air conditioner, but like any time that it's on, it's not it's not actually kicking on like it's supposed you to. Change the and, it may uh, be the it's it's one of those central air kind of units that's got like a, a outside thing. I don't know if it's like a freon issue or what the hell it is, but it's just not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Right. I guarantee you when I go in the house, I'm going to open the fucking door. Like it's 80 something out here. And it's probably going to feel like it's 120 inside the house. And that kind of, that'll fry my brain too. When it's fucking hot outside and then it's hotter in the house than it is outside. Right. People, people, kind of people that are in my inner circle have said sometimes that I do tend to get more angry and more irritable this time of the year because it's it's fucking ninety plus degrees all the fucking time everywhere you go, and my yeah. brain starts to my brain starts to like those drug commercials. This is your brain on drugs, and you know it's an egg and a skillet. <laughs> well, it's the same analogy, yeah. but. This is my brain on 95 plus degree weather. You know what I'm saying? In the skillet. You it's like in the skillet. The That's why I tell you all the time, I can't fucking, if it, it, it could be fucking a mountain of snow out here and I'll be, I might be out here sniffling, but it don't bother me and it don't make me irritable. But if it's, if it's Man. fucking, uh, if it's 90 something degrees plus and I'm out here, I can't fucking stand it. Because when it's cold and it's snowing, I just put more clothes on and I'm good and I'm fine and I don't. But when it's hot, you know, I strip. You know, there's been times when I'm sitting out here in my fucking boxers and a t-shirt yeah. and I'm still fucking just sweating and I'm nasty and I don't like fucking having to take a shower six times a goddamn day and just all of that and it, it makes me fucking irritable, man. Yeah. So when shit like that happens, I'm more likely to fucking go off on the Martys and I'm likely to go off on fucking trolls and shit because of that situation more so than anything. Right. Or just right. anybody. Anybody. You know? I'm more likely to go well, off on my home. You know? Like, it's just... I'm going to hop off here, guys. Yeah, I think All it's right. a good time to... Um, you have a good night, and I'll uh, talk to y'all on Facebook later. Yeah. You too, Night Wolf. All right. You have a good night, Blue. And Michael. Yeah. 
I don't know why my cat is being extra lovable right now. I think he's trying to butter me up for treats. Like he's, but he's being extra, extra lovable. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to bed and and when I wake up this morning, when I wake up in the morning, try to start things over and fresh. <laughs> right. That's today has do. been. Today for me has just been the most horrible day in general. I don't really know what else to really say. From people attacking me, fucking just other situations going on and agitation with the weather. It seems like everything that could possibly go wrong today has literally, that has literally happened. <laughs> No matter how good my intentions have been at any given time today. I gave in and gave them treats. Yeah. Now he wants to come in my room. How, how old is your cat? Uh. Mm, I don't know. He must be a good, like, over five years, I think, now. Four uh, or five. I was, my, I, was, I was telling my wife about JoJo. I keep referring to him as an old man now. He's just doing all these weird things. Who's watching? You ever seen that movie Marley and Me? Yeah. Well, if you've seen the movie Marley and Me, that dog's really wild through the first half of his life. But then you know right. the end of the movie's kind of the end of the movie's kind of you know sad because oh the dog always to... dies in those movies the dog always dies at the end yeah he you gets know? really old and he just kind of lays down or whatever and I'll be watching JoJo and I've seen that movie and uh, there's just things that he does now that he wasn't doing two or three months ago and I I, I told my wife I said the reason that he comes in and lays on the bed with us now so consistently no matter who's home or the reason that he's following us around is because I feel like he, he is a dog. Dogs are just as intelligent as people and he knows that his days are numbered and because he knows that his days are numbered, he just wants to be with somebody when those said numbers run out. Yeah. I mean, dogs are no different than people. You know, like it, when when my days get numbered, I would like for the people that I love to be around me. You mm -hmm. know, pe you know, animals are just as emotional as we are. You know, oh they, yeah, they, they get mean, sad. They see when you're sad or upset, and they try to comfort you sometimes. You know. Yeah, when I was fucking going off on Marty earlier, my you know that German Shepherd that I've showed on your panel a couple times, Lakota. He, he was getting mm. all upset at Marty because I was upset at Marty, you know, and he's laying head on me and trying to get me to calm down. Like dogs, dogs are really intelligent. You know, they're not, they're not stupid by no means. Oh yeah. Like if you yeah. like uh, start fighting with your sibling or something and the dog is like, break it up or like jumping in it. <laughs> yeah. Like he, he probably didn't know what the hell I was mad at. You know, they probably don't know that, but he, he knows something's going on for me to be, you know, fussing and carrying on like that. So, and he's really, as far as Lakota, he's really not used to me doing that. He sits out here all the time with me when I'm on with you. And he's, he's really not, you know, you know, for the most part, when I'm talking to you, there's not really a whole lot going on that really gets me uptight like that. It was really the first time he's really seen me on here with you. Or he's really witnessed something like that happen. So he he would, you know, as a dog, he was really confused as like what the fuck was going on. And I noticed with other people, it's it's always with him. He's smart enough to know that when something goes on like that, um, there's usually a phone involved. And I've noticed with my family, he's gotten to where if somebody gets upset and they're on a the phone, he's trying to eat the fucking phone all the time now. I think as a yeah. dog, he thinks he thinks it's the fucking phone making people mad now. And he'll try to eat that fucking <laughs> phone. 
<laughs> right. I just remember fighting with my sister and uh, my dog Brandy, you know, trying to break it up. Like, getting on and like, yeah. you know, like, yeah, dogs know when, you know, that that's why cops shoot them when they uh, do uh, home invasions. I mean, SWAT yeah, raids you, or whatever. You, you, you yeah, you mentioned that earlier today. I hope yeah, I, I hope nobody I hope nobody yeah. bust in here and, and kill any of the dogs. I didn't know that when DMX was young, um, he would rob people with the with a pit bull right there, you know, and like the pit bull, you know, was very intimidating, you know what I'm saying? So the people like would give up the loot, <laughs> the money or the drugs or whatever. Rest in peace, DMX. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. <laughs> yeah but no i mean yeah dogs can be very protective or sometimes they're just barking at anyone walking down the street you know but still they do know they're more smarter than that they're not just dumb animals you know whatever they're smarter sometimes than when animals. they're barking sometimes barking they're not this is a like a lot of times like my mom or my stepdad or like my wife or my son they, if they're around, you know, Coda will bark, uh, same way he does anybody else, but he'll be wagging his tail. And so, me processing that situation, it seems to me like barking, they're just using their way of carrying on a conversation or saying hello. Uh, but you know, earlier the ups man showed up to drop off a package. And he wasn't wagging his tail. So when you when you pay it to a dog, and they're barking, they're talking. If that tail ain't wagging, it ain't happy when they're barking. You can tell. Yeah, yeah. Or and like if you come, gate, if you, you the gate. Like, yeah. Uh, you cut off. I couldn't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, like, uh, fuck, what was I going to say? I don't know. <laughs> use, mid, use mid sentence and stop. Because <laughs> I, I, I cut you off. I thought you were saying in the middle of saying something. No, I was done. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, um,. You know, like, yeah, sometimes dogs get a little too happy, you know, and they just, they'll jump all up on you. Oh, yeah, that's why I wanted to say when you, like, come up on someone who's walking a dog and you want to pet their dog, you know, like, can I pet your dog yet? Yeah, you want to stick out your hand and let them smell your hand first, you know? And dogs, yeah. like, get a good, they're good, dogs are a good judgment of character. You know, they, they know bad people when you're a bad person and shouldn't just get put off a negative aura. And negative energy yeah. and shit. Like a dog would sense that, you know. And they can also smell watching, cancer. I remember watching a cartoon when I was a kid. I can't remember which cartoon it was, but there were all these dogs with their people walking up the street, right? And mm -hmm. what makes me think of this is my mom was telling me uh, one time that Lakota is like a, the dog version of me. It gets highly goofy and highly upset. He's just really timid as a dog. <laughs> and she's always telling me how he's like, if if I was a dog, he's me. And the first thing I thought of was I saw this cartoon as a kid and there's this fat lady walking up the street on the cartoon. And then the dog that she's walking kind of has the same kind of shape and look as this lady then there's a real skinny toothpick kind of lady walking up the street and the dog has the same demeanor and look as her and then there's you know a, a semi kind of in between uh dude in size walking up the street and then the dog he's walking kind of has the same look and demeanor as him and it's just weird i wonder i just wonder how many animals really when they're with their people, how they, you know, if they look like their people. Oh, I wonder yeah. If I'm walk 
Oh, oh, most definitely. Like, the, the, like uh, the animals, their dogs look like their owners. I know what you're saying. Or like, and then their personalities match or something. And, and, or, uh, yeah, I, I, I think I get, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like, um, <coughs> yeah, animals have their own personalities too, though. Like, There was something I wanted to say. I'm sorry. I, I need to take my meds and go to bed sometime soon. Yeah. I think I'm going to take no. Sorry. What time did you get up today? Uh, I actually slept in a little bit. <clears throat> Uh, I forget. I think I woke up at like uh, 10 something. I want maybe 11. I don't know. I forget. I'll, I must have been up a little late last night. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see you go live or anything till like around maybe noon or one o'clock. I'm not sure when you actually. But I haven't really been. It's weird. My YouTube really hasn't been giving me proper notifications as of lately when people are doing stuff. Yeah. I'm not sure why the, I don't know if it's the algorithm issue or what causes that, but I'll see things in my notification sometimes that pop up hours uh, after the uh, the, the time of which the video took place. So like, let's right. say you went live at seven o'clock or well, sometimes I don't get the, the notification until like fucking nine o'clock, but it, it addresses it like it went live at nine o'clock instead of seven. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Try unsubscribing and resubscribing and then hitting the bell and all. Okay. Yeah, there is some kind of uh, stupid fake YouTube glitch. Like it, it doesn't give out the net, it doesn't send out the notifications for like big time channels, you know, and like they're missing out on all kinds of views. It's like, damn, YouTube is really working against us to try to fucking make a living on here, like with ad suitability now. Like, there's a new uh, policy with ad suitability. I just always say, yeah, just let the ads go through. Like, I don't say you have to mark like if it has language or uh, graphic imagery, blah, 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 blah. I don't fuck with it. I don't, ain't nobody got time for that. So I just hit like, okay, and I'll just let the ads go through. And if you have to request a review, then fuck it. Okay. Anyway, I know yeah, a really lot of, I know a lot of people use that social blade to find out information on uh, certain YouTube channels. And, uh, I'm not mm -hmm. sure what, how how Social Blade calculates certain things, but I know with some channels it's it's pretty much on point, and in other channels that I've looked at, not so much. Um, and then I know even with mine, like when I log in and I select my channel, uh, that it's over a thousand subs. Um, that's why early on you were able to tag me, but one of the things I did to my channel was I disabled the ability for people to tag me. Um, not because I didn't want people to be able to tag me, but because it was a constant irritation in my notifications when people did that, it mm. would always like make this, this known presence about it. And then people like, I don't know if people know this, but like when you tag somebody on YouTube or anything related to the video tag <laughs> will give you a notification to every fucking thing related to that tag. Just like if you're on Facebook and you're in kind of group chat, you get like a hundred things because people then commented in a chat a hundred different times. It was it was doing that to me with my YouTube channel and I'd be trying to, you know, three o'clock in the morning, I'm trying to sleep. I just, I couldn't figure out how to turn the noise off. So I just disabled it. Mm. Um, 
Well, what I was getting at with the social blade thing is, is when I log in, it, it, my YouTube channel says I have 1,073 subscribers when I log in, right? But when I look at the social blade, social blade says I have 262. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> Yeah, Social Blade counts your public video views and just does, like, guesstimates with recent analytics and shit, I guess. So I'm wondering if because my subscriber is down, you can't see that, if it just is looking at the last known figure that I had public on there, maybe that's what that issue is. Mm. Mm. All right, man. Well, I'm going to end this one. It was a good show. I'm glad you and your friend talked it out. Um, that's what it's all about, man. That's what I, I like when that happens here on on the channel. What the dude Brad was saying? You know, when you know somebody in real life, it's a little bit easier to uh, get through those things, even if you're on a live like this. Mm -hmm. Easier to get through those issues you know them in real life as opposed to getting through an issue with somebody like Marty. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. You, you well, know, I'm, gonna go check I'm never going to talk. You're never going to I'm never going to see him in real life. I'm never going to see Marty in real life. You know, no, but Sean, like we have know. history. You see what I'm saying? So. Right. Right. All right. Well, I guess I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for being on the show. All right. Coco. Cool, cool. Good night, man. See ya.